and welcome back to Let's Play Act Razor. Well, time to fight some monsters. Actually, no, wait, first things first. For some reason, my magical fire got de equipped. Yeah, we'll show that off later. But, anyways, time to fight some monsters and rid the land of Fillmore from, of monsters forever. Monsters. Because we have to do everything ourselves. Technically. But anyways, let's descend into the pit. But yeah, every single stage is always made up of two of what, Act 1, then the simulation part, then Act 2. Where we face, ow, the ultimate boss of the area. With, uh, let's jumping into spikes for the most part. Also, luckily, we can't drown. But anyways, let's just head to the end of this cave area, which for some reason leads into an evil castle. Okay, ow, I forgot they can do that. I forgot they can shoot upwards. Ooh, a thousand points. Points aren't really that important in this in uh, this game, but I'll take them. Come on. There we go. I almost got hit there. That would have been bad. Ow. Okay, I couldn't duck under that. I thought I could. But anyways, this, these stages aren't too difficult. The stages themselves aren't difficult. The bosses at the end will start to get pretty hard. But for right now, they're still pretty easy. Just don't jump into spikes. Spikes hurt. Just saying. Alright, oh crap. I wasn't close enough. I'm not doing very well this round. I don't know why. That guy tried to hit me. Alright, let's see. I think this is the right way. Unfortunately, the jumping controls in this game are kind of stiff. I don't know. He just feels kind of floaty for being an animated statue. Also, you'd think being God, we would have a bit more power than just hitting things with a sword. Also, mini boss. He's not too difficult, I say, as I get hit. Let's see, grubs. Also, not very difficult. I don't know what these things are supposed to be. They're like skull turrets, I guess. Ow. He didn't jump that time. Great. Also, be careful of these, uh. I'm about to die. Be careful of these little statue things. They, uh, kind of barf out red orbs that will try to kill you. I think you can destroy the orbs, though. They don't seem to be barfing for me. I don't know why. Oh, crap. Careful. Okay, I died. Yeah, I'm not very good at the platforming parts of this game. I'm kind of rusty. That being said, that was probably a good thing, just so I have more health for the boss. Because the boss of this area... Actually, no, he's not that hard at all. Now that I think about it. Anyways, up we go. Maybe it was a bad idea to build our town on top of a giant evil castle. Just saying. Then again, Fillmore is probably the, uh... One sensible place that will build a town in this game. Trust me, some of the other places tend to be stupidly hostile. Like the very next area after Fillmore. But we'll get there in due time. Oh, now you give me health. Fine, I'll take it. Ow. I forgot. White spikes fall. Blue spikes don't. Yeah, it's pretty obvious, but the uh, only problem is the score and stuff kind of block it. But anyways, it's boss time! This is the Minotaur. Ow! I'm not doing very well. Basically, his strategy is he's gonna jump in the air, throw an axe at us, and then jump back in the air. The strategy for this guy isn't too difficult. Basically, run, jump over the axe, and then him a few times. Also, I should show off a uh, magical fire once he lands again. It does this! Yeah, magic is really useful in this game. Also, I just noticed he's only wearing a thong. That's kind of disturbing. 
But yeah, not too difficult as long as you uh, can recognize the pattern. Actually, that kind of applies to every boss in this game. If you can recognize the pattern, you can beat them without too much trouble. Also, you can spam magic. That always works. I think someone's missing. Yeah, apparently, man, the guy died from that. Somehow. Anyways, we finished with Fillmore, and now peace has come to the land. But before we leave, let's finish developing the town first. There we go. Because we want as big of a civilization as possible, because population is basically our experience points. So let's just wait for him to build up a bit. Also, now that we've cleared out all the monsters of the area, we get the final level houses. They hold more people than the other houses. Actually, no, I think we had them before. What am I just saying? Anyways, let's just wait for them to finish building a bit. Or at least until we get to 500 people, then I'll move on. Build for me, my subjects. Turn into houses. There we go. Uh, you know what? Let's just wait for him to finish this square and then we'll go. Oops, didn't mean to do that. And every time you clear an area, the people will start dancing for you. Oh look, doggy! Aw, doggy went away. Alright, let's just watch him a bit more. Alright, you know what, that's enough. It's time we left for other lands. Uh, Sky Palace movement. Anyways, we're done with Fillmore for now. We'll be back later to do, uh, some more things. But anyways, let's head to their neighbors. Bloodpool. This is a very bad place to build a town, I must say. But anyways, first things first. Let's clear out all the monsters. Hell yeah, I'm ready. Luckily, all the monsters seem to be concentrated in a single area for some reason. Oh well. Anyways, welcome to Bloodpool. It's a land of... It's basically a giant poisonous swamp. Yeah, like I said, Fillmore is the only sensible place to act that they actually build towns in this game. The rest of the places tend to be... Hell holes. But anyways, also we can't swim, just saying. We can't drown, technically, but we can't swim, so don't fall in the water. Oh crap, I almost fell there. That would have been bad. Also, the gnomes are after us for some reason. Gnomes are evil. Maybe they're dwarves, who cares? All I know is they're trying to kill us. Even the birds are trying to kill us. This is truly an evil land. If you couldn't tell by the giant expanse of poison. This place is not a good place. I actually lost more health trying to get that apple. And screw them. Oh crap, okay good. I didn't get hit by the uh, bird midair. That would have been bad. Also, f flying fish that crawl on land. Oh crap. Oh, extra life. Not that it matters, because every time you restart a stage, you always only get three lives. Come here. Okay, I can't hit him from down here for some reason. There we go. What's over here? Ooh, full health. That'll be useful. Oh, crap, I almost fell. But anyways, it's boss time. We want to go over here. Say hello to the Minotaur. No, wait, that's not... Is that a Minotaur? But anyways, the strategy for this guy is basically stand over here. And then just wait for him to come over. Come on. Or just use magic. But yeah, technically he can't hit us over here as long as we just jump over fireballs. So, all we really have to do is wait here. And just hit him a few times every time he comes over. Yeah, this guy is stupidly easy if you know this. It's kind of a slow battle, but he's really easy still. 
And I'm starting to get bored, so I might just jump down and kill him anyways. Come on. Alright, you know what, screw it. Let's fight this normally. Also be careful, because he can knock you into the water. Which is insta-death. Like that. Like I said. Don't fall in the water. Let's try that again. This time I'll just play it safe, because... Yeah, it's, it's the annoying knock back into the water mechanic that was so prevalent back then. Also, I forgot, every time you die, you don't get your uh, MP back. Oh, I actually got hit. Come on. You know you want to come over here. You know you want it. Here, boy. Well, technically, it's a cat thing, so, uh... Oh, crap. Woo, lag. That was weird. The game kind of freaked out for a second there. But anyways, we just have to wait now. Yeah, it looks like I can only get two hits every time he comes over. So that'll only take, like, probably another minute or two. Okay, I only got one hit that time. I'm not very good at this. Come on. Jump over. Whoop. Nope. But yeah, he's pretty much just... I think we broke his pattern. Yeah, like I said, most of the bosses in this game tend to be all about pattern recogni recognition. Recognition. Talking. What is it? And this is actually going to be important that you remember all of the patterns, because... Well, you'll see. By end game, we're going to definitely need to know all the patterns of the bosses. At least for all the major bosses. For all the Act 2 bosses. The Act 1 bosses, we'll never see again. Alright, two more of those should do it. Three more, maybe. Two if I'm lucky. Nope. Two more. Okay, got it. Come on. I don't want to fall in the water. That's, that's a thing. Otherwise, I would be going down to fight him. Yeah, one more hit. Ow. Alright, they should do it. And then he died. In midair. Yay. Anyways, we've cleared the in initial infestation of Blood Pool. But anyways, now it's time to build up the place. It's not a very nice place, just saying. Yes, why did we choose to build here? And, okay, fine. I was gonna end the episode, but it looks like my people have something to say. What do you've got? Yeah, this place is a giant swamp. March. Whatever. But anyways, that's gonna wait till next time. So, next time on Let's Play Act Razor, we, we build up Blood Pool. It's not a very nice place, as you'll soon see. So, till next time.